Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to an update on the O'Learys. So it is about 8.30 and Skyla is taking Sutton in to put her down for bed. She is just the cutest thing, you guys, and she's actually going to be aging up uh, in two days. So I think on Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, she's going to be aging up into a toddler and I just can't believe that our baby is gonna be a toddler oh my gosh you guys I'm just not ready at all uh, so um Skyla is still in school and she's doing very well mind you um absolutely killing it in school and she has a GPA of a plus um, and uh, she just needs to take a uh, two of her final exams. She's already done her presentation and done her term paper. Um, so she's killing it. She's doing a great, great job. And I'm super, super proud of her. Um, we're going to go ahead and send her off to sleep. But you're probably wondering who this blonde dude is that Skyla is getting ready to crawl into bed with. And this is Skyla's fiance, Nicholas Olson. And he is just the sweetest guy so um Sutton is probably three ish at this point um and her and Nicholas have probably been together for about two years now and she met Nicholas just randomly um out and about and they just absolutely fell for each other it was so fast um but they just, they just clicked in a way that Skyla has never really clicked with anybody. Um, it was, it was pretty amazing. And Nicholas ended up asking her to um, move in with him. And they bought this beautiful home that was actually built by uh, Grandmom 1956. Uh, on the gallery so if you guys want to pick up this cute little home you can that's where you can find it um, I did make some minor renovations and of course decorated it um, with Skyla's things and some things that Skyla would like uh, but this is the basic layout of their home so this is the front entry area uh, the small living room area of course kitchen and dining room they have a half bathroom down here and the laundry room and then upstairs they have a full bathroom with a sink or with a sink <laughs> definitely has sinks um, with a shower and a bathtub and then they have an office area and then obviously Sutton's room and Skyla and Nicholas's room. Now, there have also been some updates with some of the other O'Leary family members. So let me just uh, kind of lay this out <laughs> for you guys. Uh, Silas and Maria did get married and they have a son now. His name is Cade and he is just the cutest thing, you guys. I think it's amazing that Skyla or that Silas now has four total children and three out of four have red hair. The red hair genes in the O'Leary family run heavy, y'all. <laughs> heavy <laughs> um but this is myra myra is all grown up and actually it might be easier for you to, guys to see if i just pull up like this so this is the beautiful miss myra she is all grown up she is neat and she's a child of nature um they do have a little bit of a difficult family dynamic her and skyla uh, mostly because you know her that's her little sister and she used to drive her crazy but um she loves her sister of course and then we have the adorable mr miles i think miles is so cute you guys he is just adorable i just want to squeeze his face and he is growing into such a handsome young man i just love that little boy um so he is good and he is impulsive um he is you know still figuring it out you know what i mean and then of course uh maria here looking as beautiful as ever 
And then Miss Serenity. Now, Serenity actually lives in Brychester. She's currently unemployed, um, but she's living in Brychester, looking into possibly going to school um, and getting her degree. But she hasn't really decided yet. She's an insider. She's lactose intolerant and she's friendly. But she is a young adult now as well. Now, she has not seen Colin um, in a very long time. She has not seen Colin since that date they went on. That was basically it, you know, from that point. So um, it looks like little Miss here has decided that it's a good time to wake up. So <laughs> Skyla's going to come in here and put a little outfit on her. And then we're going to take her downstairs and we are going to put her in the high chair. Skyla, I think, is going to just grab some leftovers out of there. And then she's going to um, help Sutton try her first baby food. I think we're going to go with maybe hummus for her first baby food. Oh, no. She did not like the hummus. Definitely didn't like that. Okay. Let's have her try, um, maybe let's have her try rice porridge. Okay, wasn't sure about that one. Oh, here's Nicholas now, so you guys can actually get a good look at this man for the first time. This is Nicholas, and he is dreamy. Honestly, super cute. So he is lovey-dovey. He's self-assured. He's a snob. He's business savvy, a genius, loyal, um, and he is really not interested in having any kids right now, but he adores Sutton. So he wants to express his devotion to a beloved Sim. So we're definitely going to do that. Let's have him express devotion. Now it is Monday and I do believe he does have to work today. Oh, Real treasure from Milestone Reflection. A life filled with friends is a good life, and Skyla's made many over the years. Oh, that's really cute. I love that. It looks like Sutton is getting a little bit sleepy, so we're going to go ahead and get Skyla to put her in her crib after she gets out of the shower so that she can take a little nap. Oh, <laughs> I still have this dress set as workout gear because uh, I had it set that way for when she had uh, <laughs> Sutton. So that's kind of funny. Um, I do want to schedule a birthday party though. And let's see, who are we going to invite? So obviously Miles, Silas, and Maria. Myra and Serenity. Obviously Cade. Yeah, maybe we'll just have family. That's fine. And then we're not going to have a caterer or anything. We're just going to have it here at our house. And we'll have it at like 6 p.m. So in order to kind of start getting things ready for the party, I think we're going to make um, some appetizers. I'm maybe thinking maybe some garden veggies. Okay, she has her final exam in about an hour, so she is feeling pretty nervous. Got a little bit of upset stomach going on, you know. We're going to go ahead and put those veggies in the fridge. Looks like she's going to have a few. <laughs> I mean, who makes a veggie tray without dipping into the veggies yourself a little bit, you know? Definitely not me. I do it. Okay, Skyla is off to class to take her final exam. Sutton will be going to daycare, um, and we're going to be subtracting $40 to pay for the daycare. And actually, maybe we'll do maybe we'll do $100 for daycare. Since the nanny would normally cost 60 plus $20 an hour. So we'll just we'll just pay 100 for daycare. Because I don't feel like it's fair. Like, she would, of course, pay for daycare services. So, all right. Skyla has finished both her final exams, which is really exciting. Um, little Miss here is going to go ahead and try to go night-night because she's feeling a little sleepy. So, while she's doing that, let's go ahead and have Skyla um, start working on some dinner for this evening. So, let's do meals. Um, and I think we're going to do maybe some, some stuffed peppers. That might be good. And when she gets done with these stuffed peppers, she's going to start on, 
uh, the cake for Sutton's birthday party tomorrow. And wait till you guys see it. It is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. All right. Stuffed peppers are all done. And she finished with A pluses across the board, you guys. Way to go, Skyla. Yes, she's going to sign up for another term. She only needs two classes to graduate. And we are so, so proud. So, oh my gosh, you guys. Ah, two classes. And that's it. That's it. That's all she has to do is two classes. We are going to, of course, pay with a student loan because we don't have the money <laughs> to pay that straight out of pocket right now. Miles is calling. So she's going to chit chat with Miles for a little bit. But these stuffed peppers look delicious. What did she stuff those with? It looks like rice and like some kind of like there's tomatoes in there. And ooh, that just that looks good. That looks delicious. We're going to go ahead and put these. Miles has spread some juicy gossip about Silas. Really? So she's sweltering from the thermostat being set to warmer. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Set that bad baby to cooler and then we can finish the cake in just a minute. All right. Nicholas is home from work. So we are going to have him come in and grab some leftovers. But look at this cake, you guys. Look at how cute. It's a little frog cake. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Okay, let's go ahead and add the birthday candles and then we'll go ahead and put this in the fridge. That way that is all set for tomorrow. And we are going to... What do you mean? Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, pause, pause, pause. Holy cow, they were trying to grab the appetizers for the birthday party tomorrow. That's not what we want <laughs> here. Go ahead and you can both grab a serving of this. I really wish she would sit next to him. I don't know why she chose to sit all the way at the other end of the table, but that's fine. Let's have her come over and give him a quick kiss and then she's going to go to the bathroom and then she really just needs to get started on, um, you know, doing her, her homework and stuff for class and then we'll have her get started on her presentation as well. And then once he is done, he is going to go upstairs, use the bathroom. He's going to take a shower. He's had a long day. Um, and then he does need to finish up some work. He does need to prepare some semi-important reports. Um, and hopefully tomorrow he will get a promotion. Nicholas has been asked by Busiest Business Magazine to write a blog article for next week's content push it's a good opportunity to get a little notoriety among the business stands out there it might be taken the wrong way by his peers though uh so we have the choice to write the magazine article he will gain fame and lose career progress or decline and he will go on as normal now here's the thing we really need this promotion and so he's gonna decline i think he knows how close he is to getting this promotion um and he does not want to jeopardize his chances of that because he knows that, you know, Skyla's counting on him. She's not working right now. And, you know, she's kind of counting on him to be able to to do what they need to do. Maria's calling saying that her and Silas are thinking about trying for another baby. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Maria, Silas already has four kids. You now have two. Kate is like a little bit younger than Sutton. I just don't think that having another baby is a great idea, honestly. All right, we need to start getting some things ready for the birthday party because everybody's going to be here soon. We're going to go ahead and lay out the birthday cake and the little veggie platter that we made. And we're also going to go ahead and lay out the BLTs and the stuffed peppers. Um, that way there's a little something for everybody <laughs> depending on, you know, what they want. 
So we have Little Miss here changed into a different outfit. And she is so cute. I'm not ready for her to be a toddler, you guys. I'm just not ready for my baby to be getting so much older. It is birthday time. Oh, oh no. Why is everybody wearing bags on their heads? Oh my gosh, no. Why is everyone wearing bags? No. Okay, I think I fixed it. Somebody's got to go get Cade and bring that boy inside because there is no reason. All right, and Nicholas is home as well. Well, at least everybody's eating, so there's that. Okay. Let's go ahead and have her help blow out candles Sutton, before this birthday party gets away from us and we lose track of time. <laughs> Look at Silas, he's so excited. And Maria, she looks so beautiful. Yay, Sutton! Look at Serenity, oh my goodness. Okay, so Sutton has earned a bonus trait. We're gonna randomize her five times and she got independent, heck yeah, girl. Um, I want to hop into create a sim um, and give her a quick makeover because I wanna try to get some family pictures. Y'all, I don't know if it's the red hair or what, but I am just obsessed with this little kid oh my gosh look at this little dress i can't oh my gosh oh my gosh with the little cowgirl boots stop so cute ah oh, that was cute but i think i like these better um and of course let's take off the glasses i don't think we need those but oh my gosh, she's so stinking cute. All right, I'm gonna try to grab a family picture here. We will see how this goes. Y'all, the amount of time, the sheer amount of time <laughs> that it took me <laughs> to get all of these Sims in place, I can't, I, I cannot even begin to explain the just the sheer frustration <laughs> of this but thankfully we should be all set was it worth it that's that's the question was it worth it oh, yes it was so worth it oh my goodness oh i can't they're so cute you guys, oh my gosh, that's adorable. Oh, I love that. I want um, Skyla to give Silas one of those pictures because, oh my gosh, how cute. Now, Skyla is also going to take this time to tell everybody about her engagement and of course maria is telling her like we're so happy for you we love you so much you know all of that fun stuff let's have her go tell her brother and sister <laughs> she's so excited to get to tell everyone do you think i want to have skyla kind of cuddle her little brother too if she can before Everybody gets ready to leave. It is midnight and, you know, it's getting a little bit late. So, oh, Nicholas likes him, but he's not sure about Nicholas. <laughs> oh, there he is. Now he's starting to feel a little better. Oh my gosh, look at how cute he is, you guys. Kate is adorable. Like, he's just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. We're going to go ahead and disband the group so that everybody can go home. Uh, let's go ahead and disband group and then we need to um, upgrade and we're going to convert this to a toddler bed. He, uh, let's see, Nicholas needs to get ready to get in bed because he is feeling pretty tired. Uh, but everybody should be going home here pretty soon. But 
honestly, proud Papa looks so happy to be here spending time with his family. Um, I want, can she not? Oh, she only has movement skill level two. Okay. Um, can we have her snuggle with her grandpa? Because I just want, I just want a picture of her snuggling with her papa. Oh my gosh. I can't. They're so cute. And this is Silas's happy place, y'all. Like here with all of his family, his kids, his wife, um, you know, his soon to be son-in-law. And that, like, look at how beautiful Maria looks. Like, ugh, I just can't. I can't, you guys. We'll have her kind of take care of her needs as well. Kind of clean up down here. This is spoiled, so that can go away. This is still good. The frog cake, we're just going to throw it away. The stuffed peppers are still good, so we'll put those away. That's trash. This is like leftovers. So, we got all that, and we'll have her go ahead and grab some leftovers, and then we'll have her empty out the trash can. Um, thankfully, Skyla has the seldom sleepy uh, reward trait, so she doesn't require as much sleep as <laughs> regular sims uh but little miss now has the potty skill which is great we'll have her mop that up she can't clean this for some reason so i'm just gonna reset it little girl i need you to wake up so your mom can put you to sleep please <laughs> let mom put you to bed oh my gosh she's so cute you guys all right, well, I do think we are going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you all enjoyed. Little Miss, don't you dare. You go to sleep right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below just to let me know that you guys did enjoy the video. And I will see all of you guys next time. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye, guys.